So today, still got more work to do. Um, I already got one of the fenders cut. So if you guys don't know how this process works, I have to bolt on the fenders, got that done. And the next step is to cut the inside fender out. So if you, so if you look, here is the over fender that I just installed. And then inside the actual fender of the thing, I have to cut out and remove because that looks like trash. So that is what we are going to be doing today. Um, I already removed one, the passenger side. Um, I'll, I'll give you a look. So this is what we are looking for. You can't see that inside fender at all. I got that cut out and removed. So we are going to be doing that for the rest of the car. The other three, it's not too hard. It's just scary cutting into your car. Um, kind of hurts, kind of hurts a little bit, but it's for, for the greater good, right? So we're gonna be removing the front and then the two rears. The two rears, um, there's two pieces. I'll show you guys once I start cutting into it, but there's two pieces of the fender. You have to cut the outside fender off first, and then you have an inside layer, and you're gonna have to cut that and then weld the two seams together. Um, but I'll, I'll show you guys how all that's done. Let's just get to cutting, because that's what I'm excited about. Once this is cut and everything is done, um, it's gonna be drivable again, which is super exciting. And then once I space out the wheels and everything, oof, that's when it's gonna start coming together and looking good. And then we're gonna wrap it, and then we're gonna throw a big wing on it. I'm super excited. So let's just, Cut to the crap, start cutting. Cut to the crap? I didn't mean to do that. Um, but let's just get to it, okay? Woo! Alrighty. I say already way too much. I now know that uh, since I've been editing. Editing. So I'm gonna try to say that less. Or if you guys like it, maybe comment and be like, hey, I like how much you say alrighty. Don't say that. Um, so, first thing to do is we have to cut this out, and by doing that, we gotta make sure that everything um, is out of sight when you're looking from it to the side, so all of this is actually cut out. But, to do that, we're gonna draw a line on the fender itself to kinda gauge where the cut should be. Um, after that, we're gonna take off these fenders, and then we can start cutting this thing out. <laughs> I'm gonna use this to trace on the inside, leaving myself a little bit of room, have it be able to stick up in there a little bit. Once we trace everything out, take it off, cut it, zip zap, zip zap, uh, bing bong. Uh, but we're gonna cut this out and then we should be good to go. So, time to mark some stuff. That looks good for now, I think. Let's take these off and see how the line looks and then we can fix it. Ugh. Okay, so it is cutting time now. Um, I'm gonna try to follow this line as best as I can. If it comes off good, if it doesn't, then it cuts more stuff, so let's get to it. You know what, there is two bolts right here that hold on my front bumper um, to my actual body panel. So I am going to jack this up, take this wheel off, take out the inner fender liner so I know where those two bolts are um, and so I don't cut them off. So I'll do that right now.
already cut and done. Let's put the kit back on and uh, make sure everything looks good. If so, then we'll put all these inside pieces back in and then trim these up too because there's going to be a little bit of overlap. Um, so let's see if, it's, see if it looks good. Everything looks good. I'll give you guys an idea of what I'm looking at. So that inside fender just got cut out. When you step back and look at it, you can't see any fender liner on the inside. Not the fender liner. You can't see any fender on the inside. That is what we are looking for. I think it turned out pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead, cut the fender liner since it sticks out just a little bit. Then after we do that, we're gonna move on to the rears, which is a whole new challenge. So let's just finish this one up first. Already front is done. Both sides are now finished. Let's go ahead and drop this thing down, put the wheel back on, put the kit back on, and see how everything looks all nice and sound. So let's put everything back together and then start on the rears. Not looking forward to it, but it's gotta happen. So let this get, what? But we gotta do it, so let's start on it. Okay guys, so I took off the tire, removed the inside liner. Um, I figured out where I need to put my cut. There's a bolt right here, but the bumper should still be held on. Um, and then we'll just make room for another bolt to, uh, so we're not missing a bolt basically. But I'm gonna start going over this with the first cut. I really hope it goes good. Um, this is metal, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. Um, and I'm gonna have to start welding some stuff too. So wish me luck. Um, and let's see how this thing goes. Ah. What? All right, <laughs> yeah, are we gonna play this game? No, no, no. Okay, all right, so, all right, so, all right, so day two of cutting up my rear fenders, we're just gonna continue with doing these relief cuts, um, and then hopefully we can bend everything up, get it all welded together, and should be good to go. So let's start on that. When it hits you, yes, 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 you, you holler, yes, One, yes, two, you. three. So I got some mesh tape now. I'm gonna put it over um, all these little creases and then hopefully 
I can put this on and then put, ah, oh, crap. What am I gonna say? I gotta restart now. What's this called? What's this called? We got some mesh tape. I'm gonna put it over all these little seams and holes since I can't really weld them together. Um, and then after we do that, I'm just gonna try to smear that goop on top, make it hard and waterproof. And if everything goes right, it'll look good and it won't have any leaks. So let's hope for the best. Alrighty guys, quick update. Um, didn't film it, but I got this whole entire side done. I just need to clean it up, paint the white stuff black so you can't see it on the inside. Um, and then also I started working on the other side. I got everything cut and welded up. All those little pieces are tacked onto the quarter panel. Um, now all I have to do to this side is just cut those tabs off and then do the same whole gunk stuff like I did on, I showed you guys on the other side. So I'm gonna do that right now. Um, after this, we should be all done. All I have to do is just work on the fronts a little bit, make sure there's no rubbing. Um, and then we should be good to go. I think, I hope so. I'm gonna take this thing out on the streets today. If everything goes as planned, this kit should be done. So super excited to drive this car. It's been over like, ah, it's been like two months since I've driven it. Um, and I really just wanna get behind the wheel again. So hopefully, I get to drive it. <laughs> All right, let's get going. guys I did it we did it the kit is literally 100% complete all the body panels are on front bumpers on side skirts are on everything fits looks good and complete oh my god I am so happy guys I am so happy and the turnout is magnificent I think oh I know it looks so good let me give you guys I'm gonna do um, beauty shots and like a whole separate video of like just how good it looks um, but I'll show you guys pretty much everything oh it looks so good I honestly I'm so happy this build is over with because I was getting tired of not driving this thing it was starting to hurt my feelings I was going to work every day pissed because I didn't have my car but oh look Last thing I need to do is get my spacers. I have my front spacers, uh, but I just need to get the rears. That should be coming soon. I'll have a separate video um, just of me installing those spacers. But 
that that's it guys thank you everybody for watching this was such a crazy experience and i'm so happy i finally got to be able to do it um i don't know if that just made sense but that's gonna wrap up today's video i really guys hope you enjoyed it if you want to see different stuff on the car be sure to subscribe like the video of course if you liked it i don't know do what you want honestly i don't i don't really care i don't know what i'm saying Alrighty guys, that's gonna wrap up the video. Wide body kit completely installed. If you like the video, like the video. Smash the like button. Pound that like button. Skirt that like button. But that's gonna be all for today. I'm done. I'm gonna go on the road and just drive this thing. Probably waste a whole tank of gas, I don't know. But that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna drop the camera and I'll see you guys in the next video. That's what all the people say